Thank you very much, Madam Speaker, and, uh, and I appreciate uh, uh, the work that my colleague has done on this matter, as, uh, and I know specifically one of the bills that was co-opted, actually, by the Liberals uh, when it comes to making sure that there is increased competition in Canada, and certainly this could, could, could uh, uh, cover a whole range of subjects. But I have two, two questions I'd like to ask my colleague from, from, uh, from Bay of Quinte. First is, is, is about the process that we are debating here today. This certainly, to me, uh, appears like an attack on, 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 on our democratic institutions, the fact that the Liberals, incapable and incompetent to be able to uh, 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 pursue their agenda, are having to program the work that this place and its committees do is certainly troubling, and the fact that it speaks to, uh, ironically, when we're talking about something like competition, it seems antithetical that you would have the Liberals uh, 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 shutting down the ability for discourse to take place and, the f and highlighting, I would suggest, that they are incapable at actually accomplishing uh, their, their, their legislative agenda. So that's the first question. It's uh, the process and what I would suggest, Madam Speaker, and his attack on our democratic institutions. The second uh, question that I would ask my honourable colleague colleague, is one of the increasing concerns that we hear from across Canada, Madam Speaker, is the fact that we have, have uh, uh, fewer startups than ever before. In the last three or so decades, there are fewer companies starting up, Madam Speaker. So I'm wondering if, first, on the attack on our democratic institutions through a programming motion, and second, the fact that people are simply not able to or not willing to uh, take risks to create businesses and, and uh, 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 be those entrepreneurs that Canadians are known to be. Member for Bay of Quinte. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for the, for the question. Uh, number one, with, when it comes to promoting our democracy, uh, this competition law and competition act, it's been around since uh, the 60s, I think even since 1911 in Canada. We, didn't, we haven't changed the competition act much since 1986. So when it comes to looking at and debate in this house of competition, which right now is probably one of the top concerns, affordability for Canadians, certainly we should be taking all the time we can in this house and in committee to make sure it's done right. Uh, number B in this programming motion gives more power to the minister, which is not right. When we look at an arm's length institution, the Competition Bureau, which is supposed to act impartial from the government or, or free of political interference, this bill right now gives more power to the minister to have that power to interfere, and that is not right. When it comes to startups, Madam Speaker, Canada has 100,000 fewer entrepreneurs compared to 20 years ago. And when we look at trying to, to make sure there's more competition in Canada, more entrants, we need more startups. We need to start starting. Thank you, Madam Speaker.